You all know that the animal kingdom is rife with violence and horror. From sharks to lions, there are plenty of terrifying animals in this world, be they beasts of land, sea, or air. And the ones on this video are the worst of the worst. These are the 20 most dangerous animals in the world. Number 20. Wolverine. Wolves and even bears are afraid of this evil beast. It's the little but mighty Wolverine. It is a stocky carnivore with a very short temper and muscular body. It more closely resembles a small bear than other members of the Mustelidae family to which it belongs. The Wolverine has a reputation for ferocity and strength out of proportion to its size, with the documented ability to kill prey much larger than itself. They are fearless and tireless. Their super thick fur allows them to survive perfectly well in extremely cold conditions, and they will not back down from a fight no matter what. They can be found primarily in remote parts of the boreal, subarctic, and alpine forests of the Northern Hemisphere, with the largest numbers in Northern Canada, the US state of Alaska, the Nordic countries of Europe, and throughout Western Russia and Siberia. Its populations have experienced a constant decline since the 19th century, mainly due to hunting and the reduction and fragmentation of its habitat in such a way that it's become extinct in the extreme south of its European distribution area. The largest populations are believed to remain in northern Canada and northeastern Russia. Wolverines are solitary animals. Its scientific name is Gulo Gulo, which literally means glutton glutton. Now it's time for the odd topic. Is Bigfoot real? This photo might just convince the most skeptical of skeptics. According to the person who supplied this photo, it is a genuine image captured in the forests of North America. Now, of course, any photo of this nature is going to get called out as fake by some. All we can do is report what the photographer said, and he has fought with determination to prove this image is real. The intriguing thing is that it doesn't look quite like the Bigfoot we all thought we knew, but then again, maybe Bigfoot doesn't quite look how we imagined him. If this thing is real, we have to assume that wolves and even bears are afraid of this evil beast. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the Hashtag on topic. Number 19. Dog. There is no doubt that dogs are beloved pets all around the world. Who doesn't like puppies, right? But although dogs can have a great beneficial impact on the health and well-being of their owners, especially service dogs, people should always be aware that dogs of any age, even the extra cute puppies, can carry very harmful germs that can make people quite sick. These germs that some dogs sadly carry can cause a large variety of illnesses, from a minor skin infection to a very serious disease. One way of preventing getting sick from a dog is to always thoroughly wash your hands after handling, caring for, feeding, and cleaning up after a dog. Also, keep in mind that just because a dog is small and looks harmless doesn't mean it won't bite. In fact, smaller dogs statistically bite more often than big and scary looking ones, and germs make no distinction on what size host they choose. If you get bitten by a dog and think you may have contracted rabies, you should always seek medical help as soon as possible. There's a vaccine for rabies, and that's why the disease has been largely eradicated from Europe, but the sooner you get treatment, the better. Number 18. Hippo. Did you know that hippopotamus comes from the Greek word for water horse? They are the third largest land animal after elephants and white rhinos, and I bet you didn't know just how dangerous they actually are. In fact, if you ask any local that lives nearby these massive mammals who they're more scared of, a lion or a hippo, they'll all probably say, without missing a beat, a hippo. Hippos, especially the common hippopotamus, are an extremely aggressive species. For this reason, they are considered one of the most dangerous animals in Africa. In fact, it is the animal that causes the most deaths in Africa among humans, ahead of species as feared as the tiger or the rhinoceros. They are very strong and hot-headed. Hippos are semi-aquatic animals that love water. They spend up to 16 hours submerged in swamps and rivers where they like to wallow in the mud, which protects them from mosquito bites. However, behind these curious mammals hides one of the most ruthless and dangerous animals. <laughs> 
The diet of hippopotamuses is fundamentally herbivorous. Their diet includes roots, tubers, plants, and leaves, as well as fallen fruit from trees. Their habits are nocturnal, since they usually spend most of the day submerged in the water, resting, and look for food at night. They come to travel 10 kilometers to look for pastures. Number 17. African Cape Buffalo the most impressive of all Cape Buffalo facts is that they are so dangerous they are referred to as the Black Death. Highly prized by big game hunters, these amazing creatures are members of Africa's Big Five, the five most difficult African animals to hunt on foot. The African lion, leopard, African elephant, and rhinoceros, black or white, are the other four members, but the Cape Buffalo kills more big game hunters than the other four animals combined. There are four subspecies of African buffalo, which is the only cow-like animal in Africa, of which the largest is the Cape buffalo, and it is the only subspecies recognized as a member of the Big Five. The Cape buffalo is an herbivorous bovine, effectively a plant-eating cow, but it's extremely aggressive and outright vengeful, displaying perhaps a bit more intelligence than a typical bovine. There are numerous accounts of them using their legendary memories and extreme persistence to take revenge on hunters who shoot or injure them. And I mean, who could blame them, right? They can attack and cause serious injury with the tips of their huge, curved horns or by striking head-on. Males also develop a thicker neck, a larger hump on the shoulders, and a fringe of long hairs around the throat that looks somewhat like a beard but is called a dewlap. The largest males approach 2,000 pounds and 6 feet at the shoulder and take almost 10 years of growth to reach full size. Number 16. Deer. Well, wait a minute, how can a cute and skittish deer be dangerous? They are not predators, and by all means, they are not killing machines. They're elegant and harmless. But in fact, according to a newly published analysis called Deer Are the Deadliest Animal in the United States, deer are just that, extremely dangerous. How? Well, deer-related fatalities most often stem from accidents, and not vicious attacks, of course. This is the situation due to the insanely rapid urban development that accompanies modern times. The deer's natural habitat is exponentially shrinking, causing them to share more space with humans. This causes them to often wander into oncoming traffic and cause crashes, sometimes deadly ones. Deer cause 120 deaths per year, which is more than dogs, bears, sharks, and alligators combined. Deer-related crashes have become such a massive issue in the United States that they are implementing sterilization programs and culling in the Northeast. But this might lead to their extinction. Another option would be to re-establish the cougar population, which is a natural predator of the deer. But humans also have issues with cougars. In any case, the future looks very dark for the deer. Number 15. Honey Badger Despite having the word honey in their name, honey badgers are everything but sweet. In fact, they have a pretty nasty reputation as the world's most fearless creature. But don't be too worried. These little animals are quite aggressive, true, but only when there's literally no other option on the table, as honey badgers tend to avoid trouble rather than attack and ask questions later. They usually only attack when they are taken by surprise by predators, which often occurs when they're in the middle of digging a hole. Honey badgers have very poor eyesight, so they rely mainly on their sense of smell. That's why when they have their nose in the ground, they can get oblivious to their surroundings, and that's the best time to approach them by surprise. When startled, they rush at their assailants, releasing a very potent scent from their anal gland, rattling and standing tall with their hackles raised. This little act usually works, and the predators run away scared. They're quite resilient animals, and they will go down fighting, that's for sure. Even if a honey badger is caught, its loose skin will enable it to twist around and bite its attacker. Number 14. Horse. Are horses dangerous? That's a question often asked on the internet, and the answer's not black and white. After all, we're talking about an animal that can weigh up to 1,200 pounds and can accelerate up to a staggering 55 miles an hour. Some people try their chances riding a horse without experience or without supervision, and that's when accidents can happen. So overall, yes, horses are capable of causing damage. However, they are magnificent creatures and, for the most part, are naturally docile animals. On top of that, 
horses have a natural instinct to like humans, even though some people don't treat them well at all. Looking at you, Amish guy who's never gonna watch this video because you're Amish. A fall from a horse, getting back kicked, or being stepped on by a horse can be as serious as making a person paraplegic for the rest of their life. And that's no joke. That's exactly what happened to Christopher Reeve, the actor that played Superman in the 1978 Superman film. Horror stories can and do happen, but if people become more aware and careful, a lot of dramatic accidents can be avoided. Horses should always be approached with respect, and you should never do quick, sharp, or sudden movements around them. Number 13. Hyena in Africa, people are used to living surrounded by murderous animals. However, in 2003, more than 4,000 inhabitants fled in terror from a town in Malawi. In a single week, three people were killed and 16 injured after relentless attacks by a pair of hyenas. Every year, 50 people lose their lives killed by hyenas. Contrary to popular belief, the hyena is not a cowardly scavenger. It is a very skilled predator. According to studies carried out in the Kalahari, it was found that 70% of the diet of hyenas is made up of prey that they capture themselves. They do not hunt only small animals, as many people think. <laughs> After a dizzying 5-kilometer chase, a single hyena can catch an adult wildebeest after reaching a speed of 50 kilometers an hour. The bite force of an adult spotted hyena is 1100 psi, which is powerful enough to shatter bones like if it were butter. In fact, the hyena is possibly the mammal with the most gigantic jaws in relation to the size of its body. To satisfy their hunger, each individual requires 6 kilograms of food per day. A clan of hyenas can easily chase, corner, and kill a lion. There's little a human can do in the face of a frantic attack by a pack of hungry hyenas. Number 12. Komodo Dragon with its dinosaur appearance and its mythical name, you can't expect the Komodo dragon to be a docile and cuddly animal. You only need to look into its reptile eyes to see the real predatorial nature of this gigantic lizard. The Komodo dragon has sharp teeth to tear apart its prey, which it swallows whole. But does the Komodo dragon really kill using poison? Well, most people believe that the potent toxic bacteria in its mouth is the reason its victims die. However, this theory has been completely debunked. The scientific community then paid special attention to this species native to Indonesia. Komodo dragon venom acts directly by lowering blood pressure and promoting blood loss until the victim goes into shock and is unable to defend itself or flee. This technique is not exclusive to the Komodo dragon. Other species of lizards and iguanas also share this method of incapacitation. However, there are doubts that Komodo dragons use only their venom to kill. A surprising detail is that wild Komodo dragons have up to 53 different strains of bacteria, far below one might have in captivity. Komodo dragon attacks on humans can occur, but they are not particularly frequent. The danger of this animal lies in its great size and strength, not in its poison. These varanids can detect their prey up to 4 kilometers away, quickly approach to bite them, and wait for the poison to act and make their job easier, thus avoiding a possible physical confrontation. Number 11. Golden Poison Frog we tend to associate poisonous animals with snakes, jellyfish, or certain groups of insects, or arachnids. Venom production is a frequent phenomenon in the animal kingdom, but in the long list of animals that are poisonous, amphibians have a special place, because they do not use their venom as an attack mechanism, but as a defensive system to avoid being eaten. In many cases, such as some species of toads, the toxin is very mild, causing only an unpleasant taste and perhaps a mild reaction in the organism trying to devour it. But there's a family of frogs from Central and South America that stands out for its vibrant colors and its powerful poison on the surface of its skin, the Dendrobatidae. And among the 203 known species, Phyllobates terribilis, the golden dart frog, lives up to its specific epithet. 
This cute little frog contains enough poison to kill 20,000 mice or 10 people. That's why experts believe this is the most poisonous animal on the planet. Even barely touching its skin can be deadly. Imagine that. Talk about a defense mechanism. This cute yet lethal amphibian is not very big. It can grow up to 2 inches long and they live in moist tropical rainforests. Number 10. Moray Eel Moray eels, or Morina helena, are animals that instill respect and fascination in everyone who encounters them. Their stylized silhouette, viscous skin, and fearsome appearance makes them one of the most interesting and terrifying species to encounter while diving. And whatever you do, never ever touch one. These fish are present in an area ranging from the British Isles to Senegal and the Mediterranean. It can usually be found in waters up to 100 meters deep, usually hidden in cracks and rocky cavities. In addition, they are very territorial and are usually solitary. Moray eels rest during the day and are more active at night when they go out to hunt. Thus, moray eels are carnivorous and feed on other fish, cephalopods, crustaceans, and dead animals. Although not much is known about the reproduction of these fish, it usually takes place in summer in areas close to the coast. They usually keep their mouths open, at which point their impressive teeth can be seen. They don't usually maintain this posture as a warning sign, but rather because they need to constantly pump water. In fact, they only attack if they feel threatened. In addition, the most dangerous thing about their bite isn't their jaw, but the infection they can generate due to the large number of bacteria from decomposing food debris that can be found between their teeth. Number 9. Nile Crocodile Huge, imposing, and ferocious, crocodiles are one of the animals that arouse the most admiration and respect among people. The Nile crocodile is one of the best known and largest freshwater crocodile species in the world. This insanely large reptile species is estimated to have been on Earth for about 55 million years, barely changing its appearance. As its name indicates, the Nile crocodile can be found in the Nile River, which runs through 10 African countries, Egypt being the most famous, to the Mediterranean. In addition, we can also find it in many other countries in Africa, practically in the majority, from Sub-Saharan Africa to Madagascar. The Nile crocodile is considered to be one of the largest freshwater crocodiles in the world. Its length averages 5 to 6 meters, although there are specimens of up to 8 meters, and its weight ranges from 250 kilograms to 700 kilograms. Crocodiles are carnivorous, so they require sharp teeth to chew meat and bones. The dentition of the Nile crocodile is made up of between 64 and 68 razor-sharp teeth. In addition, its jaw can generate more than 1,500 kilos of pressure. You do not want to be in between these jaws. Another characteristic is that the Nile crocodile is very long-lived, since it can live between 70 to 100 years. Number 8. Tiger The tiger is a magnificent animal, there is no doubt about that. They are agile, gorgeous, elusive, powerful, and downright dangerous. They are the true king of the jungle and the biggest cat on the whole planet. For many, they've become a symbol of courage. They are the ultimate solitary apex predator feared by all other living things in this world. Not even crocodiles, bears, buffaloes, or a pack of wolves can stand against the striped king of Asia. This supreme killing machine sits at the top of the food chain and is truly a supreme predator. Sadly, though, in a world dominated by humans, even the almighty tiger suffers. Today, very few specimens remain in the wild. In fact, in the United States alone, there are more tigers than are in the wild. The World Wildlife Fund estimates that about 5,000 of these big cats live in captivity in the country, although animal welfare experts say precise figures are difficult to come by due to the black market. In any case, that figure is much higher in comparison to about 3,900 wild tigers left in the wild. Number 7. Brown Bear 
Bears are known to be a dangerous animal, and whereas polar bears are the deadliest, brown bears have a higher record of attacking humans. Maybe because grizzlies share their natural habitat with a lot more human presence than the polar bear. Despite their cuddly appearance and what you may have seen in Coca-Cola commercials, bears are massive creatures that can be extremely territorial and aggressive. <laughs> And they have everything to back up their hot-headedness. They are quite big, reaching a total length of six and a half feet and weighing around 600 pounds. They have massive paws with sharp claws, and their jaws and teeth are insanely powerful. They are predators, which means they know how to hunt and fight against other animals. And they don't really like humans, especially the ones that want to shoot at them. It is a characteristic inhabitant of mature forests in Europe, temperate Asia, and North America. In this vast territory, it appears under a certain number of subspecies, which differ from one another by coloration and size to such an extent that they were once considered different native species. Some individuals specialize in hunting large prey, especially deer and some other ungulates. Due to their apex predator nature, bears have no natural predators, so humans are their only threat. Number 6. Bull Bulls are the most dangerous animals in the farm. There's no doubt about that. One should never, ever approach a bull if the bull doesn't know you. And even then, it's dangerous business. That's why handling livestock in a safe manner is not only a good idea, but also crucial on any farm to prevent accidents, injuries, and even fatalities. In fact, according to the United States Department of Labor Census of Fatal Occupational Injuries and the Surveillance of Occupational Injuries and Illnesses database, bulls cause 48% of all cattle-related fatalities. A number that high cannot be dismissed, especially considering that bulls only account for 2% of all the cattle nationwide. Wide. Bulls are crazy big, filled with adrenaline and testosterone, a mix that's always quite explosive, even in humans, and can inflict fatal injuries in a matter of seconds. They don't always want to hurt people, though. Sometimes deaths occur by accident, and that's why the handling of bulls should be reserved for the experts only. And out of all the bulls, dairy bulls are often considered more aggressive than beef bulls. Even the nicer ones can get more vicious with age and can attack unprovoked. Number 5. Death Stalker Scorpion a team of researchers from the National University of Ireland analyzed a wide range of scorpion species and found that the smallest species, and therefore with smaller stingers, were up to 100 times more lethal than the larger ones with more imposing stingers. Actually, and although it's hard to believe, the most expensive liquid in the world comes from the venom of the golden scorpion, better known as the Death Stalker. Although its sting isn't usually enough to kill a healthy adult, it can be lethal to children and the elderly. That's why it's considered one of the most dangerous species of scorpions on the planet. When it comes to comparisons, scientists say that it is 100 times more painful than a bee sting. The reason that makes the liquid extracted from the venom of this scorpion the most expensive in the world is due to one of its components, the peptide chlorotoxin, which has been shown to be useful in treating human brain tumors. In addition, specialists think other components can be used to regulate insulin and treat diabetes. The Death Stalker scorpion, also called the Palestine Yellow Scorpion, can be found in desert and scrubland habitats ranging from North Africa through to the Middle East. Number 4. Sydney Funnelweb Spider This scary spider is native to Australia, specifically the Greater Sydney area, where it inhabits wooded and suburban areas. Ah! Their name comes from the funnels they create from their silk. They hunt from these funnels, capturing prey that wanders past the entrance. Their diet consists of insects and small invertebrates such as frogs or lizards. They are large spiders with shiny black heads and large downward fangs. They are mainly solitary. The females will remain inside their funnels for most of their lives while the males roam at night. They are widely considered to be one of the deadliest spiders in the world due to their insanely strong venom. Symptoms of its venom include shortness of breath, cardiac collapse, and nervous system disturbances. 
Thankfully, though, no one has died from a bite from a Sydney funnel web spider since the creation of the antidote. Before the creation of anti-venom, only 13 people died from a bite. When threatened, they display aggressive behavior. They stretch out on their hind legs and display their large fangs. Since the females rarely leave their burrows, it is the males that come into contact with humans, which means that all bites come from males. Their venom is also five times more toxic because it contains a specific toxin that females don't have. Number 3. Assassin Bug as the name suggests, these bugs are not your ordinary, harmless house bug. Quite the opposite, in fact. Many gardeners like having assassin bugs in their garden, and that's because they are very useful as predators of common nuisance garden insects. But assassin bugs can have huge drawbacks, too. Some can even be harmful to humans due to their pesky tendency to bite. Their venom can vary in potency, and some assassin bugs, like the kissing bug, can also carry harmful parasites. One of the nastiest varieties of assassin bugs are the kissing bugs. They have piercing, sucking mouth parts, and they feed on blood, using a gentle, painless bite in the facial area, hence the name kissing bug, to extract their meal. They originated in Latin America, and they can carry a parasite that can cause Chagas disease in humans and dogs. Another, less lethal variety is the wheel bug. It's a rather large, gray bug, usually just over an inch long, with a circular crest on its back. These daunting-looking critters will always bite if handled, and although the bite isn't dangerous in the long term, it is immediately quite painful. And it's very important to disinfect the area of the bite if that ever happens to you. Number 2. Saw Scaled Viper Saw-scaled viper is the name given to any of eight species of small, venomous vipers that live in arid regions and dry savannas north of the equator across Africa, Arabia, and Southwest Asia to India. These snakes are recognizable thanks to their stout body shape and unique pear-shaped head, which is very distinct from the neck. They have vertically elliptical pupils, which are pretty mesmerizing, and rough and strongly keeled scales, hence their name. Saw-scaled vipers are nocturnal. They come out at twilight to hunt for mammals, birds, lizards, scorpions, or centipedes. They don't look like a massively dangerous animal, but to underestimate them could be a fatal mistake. Saw-scaled vipers are not only extremely aggressive and reactive, but also carriers of a lethal venom. When threatened, these snakes will slowly move with the body looped into S-shaped folds, and its oblique scales will produce a warning, hissing sound. They are quick to strike, and mortality rates for the unlucky ones that get bitten are very high. In its natural habitat region, it's believed that saw-scaled vipers are responsible for more human deaths than all other snake species combined. Number 1. Mosquitoes Despite its tiny size and harmless appearance, the mosquito is the deadliest animal on Earth. Neither sharks nor tigers have been able to exceed the number of deaths caused by this insect each year. Although it may seem difficult to imagine that an insect as small as the mosquito can become the deadliest animal in the world, these seemingly non-dangerous beings cause the deaths of approximately 725,000 people each year, according to estimates by the Bill Gates Foundation. In addition, the more than 2,500 species of mosquitoes, which are found in all regions of the planet except Antarctica, are very good at adapting to new environments and to any intervention that we use against them. But why are mosquitoes so dangerous? Well, this small insect is the most dangerous animal in the world because it's responsible for the spread of serious diseases that kill millions of people every year. Just to give an example, according to WHO data, dengue, the most frequent viral infection transmitted by mosquitoes of the Aedes genus kills 40,000 people a year, and it's estimated that 96 million symptomatic cases are registered annually. Yellow fever, West Nile virus, chikungunya, and Zika are other infectious diseases transmitted by mosquitoes that, unfortunately, are deadly, highly contagious, and difficult to eradicate. As you can see, dangerous animals can come in any shape, size, or form. What about you? Out of all the lethal animals listed in this video, which one is the one that scares you the most? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.